So I finished the 3D print of my boat and it's basically in three separate parts now. So this is the bow of the boat. And as you can see here, it actually turned out uh, quite slightly, nicely. So there are no big defects from, from the printer. Um, and overall, it's actually a quite, quite nice um, finish. And um, so the next step will be to then connect these pieces together with the, the centerpiece and the stern of the boat. Um, and then I can slowly um, insert all of the different um, electronics. So moving on, we have then the centerpiece, which, which looks like this. Um, this piece is probably the one that turned out um, the worst from the printer. So actually, if you look in the middle, you can see uh, lots of um, stringing, um, but this hasn't really affected the sturdiness, so it's actually quite, quite sturdy. Um, so I'm assuming that when waves hit, it's not going to be any, any problem. Um, and here again, we have then the two contact plates, um, and then here we can then connect the different pieces. Um, and then it's going to be, and then it's going to be really, really sturdy. And then here is also basically probably going to be the compartment for the battery. And then finally we have the stern of the boat, um, which looks like this. Here we can see the outlet of the first. So later on we will have then the the propeller in there. Um, here is the inlet. Um, where then all of the water will be, be sucked in. Um, in the front, we have the, the motor mount, um, which is already has the right dimensions of the motor, which I'll be using. But here in the front, behind the motor mount, we have then the location for the shaft to connect it to the, to the propeller. Um, and then in the rear, actually, later on, we're going to have some inserts which will look like this. So that will go in here. Um, and then this bit on top is going to be here and then that's going to help to direct the stream of water. So then we can steer the boat. And then afterwards, once these are connected, um, I want to insert this shaft with the propeller the motor, this um, is a 2550 kV, no idea if that's the right one, um, together with that motor we have a 90 ampere ESC including water cooling which I have not yet designed for the boat, so that's going to be a step later on. We have a servo motor which is waterproof. And this servo motor will then um, be fit to inside here. And yeah, otherwise it's like some small accessories to complete the drivetrain. And let's get started. So the next step for today is going to be to slowly put in all of the parts, um, try out if the screws fit in here and then also apply some Japanese silicon bond. So yeah, let's get started and hope it all turns out, turns out nicely. I've encountered my first problem um, and that is that the dimensions where the shaft should fit in are a tiny bit 
too small, a little bit too tight. So actually as I was putting in the shaft, I removed accidentally the, the bearing. And we have touchdown. So just let me switch you to my camera on my phone and then we can see what has happened. So I basically put in the shaft here to the connection and it didn't go all the way through but I think it should be fine. And then on the front, a little bit still sticking out but yeah, it should be fine. So the next step will be um, to attach this part and this part. And then I'll be using some Japanese silicon to, to do that. So the final build is complete and this is how the base of the boat looks like. And actually, I think it turned out really well. So if you look at it here from the, from the side, I still have to get rid of the, the excess silicon, but that should be no problem. And then down here. So quite nice build. Inside I have the screws to make sure that these parts don't separate as there is no bond really for, for PETG. And the next test will be to look if it's watertight. And yeah, let's hope everything works out. So after some testing in the bathtub I noticed that there is a leak however it's not from the connections here or here or on the top unfortunately it's right here at the bottom I don't know why maybe the 3d printer didn't or the, the 3d model wasn't correct here so I'll probably just add some silicon on the inside and then Hopefully it will be alright.